안오빈의 망대입니다. It is the business person's part, is it? 그랬더니 삼천 제자 일어났어요. And three thousand disciples arose. 어그 산업인들이 모였는데 이 사람들이 움직이니까 뭐 삼천 제자 일어나고 뭐 예배가 회복되는 일이 벌어졌습니다. The business people gathered three thousand disciples arose and the worship was restored. 어 다윗이 성공하게 된큰두 가지가 있어요. There are largely two things why David was successful. 야 하나는 뭔 거니까. 일천 망대를 만들었어요. The first of which he raised a thousand partisans. 대단하죠. It's amazing. 그 일천 망대를 만들면 끝입니다. If you raise a thousand partisans, that's it. 그리고 성전 준비를 했어요. And he made preparations for the temple. 이건 산업인들이 완전히 배워야 될 모델입니다. This is the model that the business persons must. 어, 여러분의 산업이 일천 망대가 되고 여러분의 교회가 세계 살리는 교회가 만들어져야 된단 말이에요. May your business become the thousand partisans. May your churches be the churches that save the world. But it's not easy. Oh, I was doing construction, building, 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 building. It's not difficult when we purchased the building and renovated the building. We did all those things. We did all those things. 많이 해봤어요 이렇게. And I've gone through many processes like the house in front or the RUTC. 이빈아. 근데 보니까. 이빈 쇼킹님. 한 명도 빠짐없이 속여요. But not a single exception. Everyone deceives. 부실. They would build and not according to code. 우리 집 지금 뒤로 넘어가고 있다. 새로 지어야 되죠. And the house is falling apart. We have to build it again. 그 사람 찾아보니까 사람도 없어. And looking for people to do that, there's nobody to do that. 예, 우리 집도 한번 부산 수리를 해보니까요. 우리 친척 불러 대는데 이것도 속이네. And even my house in Busan, we were trying to fix it. And it was a relative. Even they were deceiving me. 아, 그렇구나. 아, 성공은 쉬운 거구나. Then I thought success is easy. 약간만 제대로 해버리면요, 무조건 역사를 나요. If you just do adequately, just a little bit, the works will arise. 우선에 계산하지 말고 여러분이 진짜로 망대 세우고 교회 세워야 돼요. Don't calculate ahead of time. You must truly raise the bodies and raise the church. 그래서 안타까워요. 실력과 뭐 잘한다 이런 거 말고 하나만 제대로 또 하면 두 개, 세개 계속 늘려요. And it's so sad to see. It's not about skills or how great you are, but if you just do things properly, then it will be raised one by one. 아 처음에 고등학교를 탁 들어가서 다락방을 했거든요. I first went to a high school and started doing 다락방. 그래서 자꾸 다른 사람들 보면 자꾸 뭐를 소리 내고 모으려고 합니다. 그런 거할 필요 없습니다. And other people continue try to raise noise and try to gather people. You know, 그것은 다 틀린 거예요. That in itself is incorrect. 정말 말씀을 원하는 아이들 필요한 아이들이 있습니다. 걔들 찾아서 말씀을 주는 거죠. We must look for the kids that truly want the message. We must find them and give them the word. 어 그렇게 하니까 나도 쉬워요. And when I did it that way, it's easy for me. 어려 되잖아요. It's graceful. 그러니까 이제 그런 아이들이 연결돼서 온단 말이에요. And those children get connected and come. 아 그러다 보니까 선생님도 오는 거요. And because that teachers would follow. 이게 무슨 뭐 광고가 그리를 안 했는데 점점 점점 커지는 거예요. And we didn't make any advertisements, but it continued to grow. 그랬더니 그 선생 중에 중직자 한 분이 너무 그 자기 은혜가 되는가 봐요. And one of the teachers who was the church officer, they received so much grace. 아 그럼 나보고 돈을 주는 거요. And they gave me some money for lunch. I thought this is too much for lunch money. Of course, if it was just an adequate amount, I would have taken it, but it was too much money. And so I didn't say anything about that, but we didn't have any funds for the kids to do anything. So, and you know, I have a conscience, and the kids they want to do activities, but there's no funding for them at all. 그래서 이제 그그 걔들 뭐 하라고 좋은 거요. And so I gave it to them so they could do activities. 아 이걸 또 선생이 알았어. And the teacher found out. 어떻게 되겠습니까? What would happen? 이 사람 그거 좀 감동을 받는 거요. He was so moved by that. 그러니까 이전에 나는 그 너무 액수가 많아서 아이들 어릴 때 때문에 좋은 건데 이 선생님은 감동받은 거요. 
it's not much. I was just too much money, so I wanted the kids to have some funding, but that moved the teacher. Why? Because most people like money. 그리고 이 소문이면 저희들 자기들끼리 나가지고 교사들이 힘을 합치는 거예요. The news spread among them, and the teachers got together. 아, 저 전도사님이 아이들을 가르칠 때 모일 때이 돈이 들 건데 우리가 너무 몰랐다. 이런 자기들을 모으는 겁니다. 이렇게. And this is some pastor trying to do activity with the kids, but they need funding, and so these teachers got together and created. 이렇게 아이들을 활동하도록 만들어주는 거예요. And they help them to have the kids 어떻습니까? have activities. How great is that? 분위기 확 바뀌어. The atmosphere completely changed. <웃음> 옛날에는 아이들이 학교에서 교회 다니는 표시 내면 바보 취급 받았어요. 옛날에는. Before, if a student would say that they go to church, they would be considered fools. 어그 학교 영양형 있는 선생이 아이들 모아놓고 말이요, 밥 사주고 말이죠. 애들에게 말씀 주고 이렇게 하니까 완전히 분위기 달라져요. But the influential teacher is helping feed the children and do activities together. The atmosphere completely changed. 그런데 벌릴 것도 없어요. 학교 교사들 자기들끼리 잘 알아. 자기들 학교도 해달라는 겁니다. And there's no need to try to make a big thing. The teachers know, and they all request for their schools to have this. 뭐, 뭐, 이렇게, 이렇게 준비해라. And I told them, prepare in this way. 가겠다, and if I have the time, I will go. What's difficult about that? I couldn't go because I didn't have enough time. Everyone wanted me to come. That is the small difference. 그런 것들이 다 되고 안 되고를 좌우해 버려. And so my words about deception and not being up to code, this is not a nagging. This is very important. Let us confirm the bartisans that are in the Bible. And it was the greatest position that was safe and can look far. 쉽게 말하면 여기는 안전하고 모임도 가능하고 이런 것들을 만드는 거예요. And so it is safe. It's a place where people can gather. This is what they made. 어떨 때는 급한 일이 생기면 피난처가 되기도 하고요. And in urgent times, they could run away to this place. 심지어 거기서 이제 뭐 예배하는 제사도 지내는 그 기록도 나옵니다. And they had worship together. They had sacrifice at this place. 말하자면 기도처가 되기도 하는 거죠. It could become a place of prayer. 또 늘기 보면요. 적군을 보는 망대가 되는 겁니다. Looking at it broadly, it becomes a partisan where you could see the enemy forces coming. 그리고 단순하게 적군만 보는 망대가 아니고 빛을 비추 줘서. 사람들에게 또 뭔가를 도움주는 이런 망대입니다. And it's a part is not just to look for your enemy, but also to be able to shine the light upon the people who need it. 그러니까 이런 거를 일천이나 세워서 다 있어요. And so David raised a thousand of these. 그러면 에, 여러분이 응용을 잘 해보시면 무엇을 해야 될 것인가 알게 될 겁니다. And in the way you apply this, you will find out how to do this. 아직도 많은 산업인들은 교회 와서 내가 뭐 특별하게 누가 알아주는 자리가 있나 없나에 신앙생활 기준을 두고 있잖아요. A lot of people still have a standard where will people acknowledge me in the position I get in the church? 어리석죠. 망대는 다 놓치는 겁니다. That is foolish. They're losing hold of the partisans. 진짜 신앙인들은요 망대를 만들어야 돼요. True people of faith must raise the partisan. 그렇다고 할때 망대의 내용이 뭡니까? Then what is the content of the partisan? 이 망대의 내용은 우리가 아시다시피. 에, 사람들이 아, 가장 내가 필요하다. 내가 필요한 것이 감 거기 있단 말이에요. And in the standard of the partisan, it is what people need. What people need is there. 이게 제일 중요합니다. That is the most important thing. 다락방을 열었다 뭐 지게 나갈 때그 지역에 가장 필요한 것을 시작을 해야 돼요. When you start a tarakpong or a regional church, you need to make the thing that region needs the most. 이걸 보고 플랫폼이라고 합니다. That is what we call the platform. Ah, 뭐 필요도 없는 것을 왜 갑니까? Why would you make something that nobody needs? 그리고 사람에게 가장 필요한 부분과 아주 뭔가가 생명이 있는 이런 부분이 내용이죠. What people need the most and the aspect of life. 그러니까 이걸 보고 파수들어 오는 겁니다. 
That is why we call this a watchtower. Because the life is there. You could shine the light. And it's a place where my soul is refreshed. There is nurturing. 그래서 하나님과 통하는 영적인 안테나라고 말해요. That is why it's a spiritual antenna that communicates with God. 굉장히 중요합니다. It's immensely important. 뭐 사람들 약간만 여러분 눈을 떠 버리면 진짜 할거 많습니다. If business people just open their eyes just a little bit, there's so many things for you to do. 근데 제가 볼 때는 거의 중요한 건다 놓치더라고요. But as I see it, they lose hold of the most important things. 그렇다면 키는 망대가 아닙니다. Then the key is not the partisan. 뭡니까? What is it? 파수꾼입니다. It is the watchman. 아무리 좋은 망대라도 파수꾼이 없으면 소용 없잖아요. Doesn't matter how great of a partisan you have, if you don't have the watchman, it's no new use. 자 성경은 파수꾼에 대해서 이렇게 말씀하고 있어요. And the Bible speaks of the watchman in this way. 너를 파수꾼으로 세웠다. I've raised you as watchman. 종일 종냐 여호와로 쉬지 못하게 해라. All day, all night, make it so that God will not be at rest. Oh, watchmen are 24 hours a day. When other people are sleeping, they stay awake and go and are there looking out. The watchmen, they continue to change the rounds in 24 hours a day. And they show what is urgent. And there are urgent, threatening things. The evangelism is that way. They're warning of the urgency. And reading this, I really received the answer concerning evangelism. And I'm working with this person here, and they're just not speaking of the urgent matters that is upon them. There's a reason why they don't speak. And so they might not be as close, but they might not have the heart to express those things. I realize that. And so the pastors, yes, you need to make good sermons, but if you have life in your sermon, the people will come. No matter how great of a sermon, there is a message that actually destroys life. And even in criticism, there could be criticism that saves. And that is why that is what people see to go. And the business must have this business people must make it so that these partisans will save. Why is that? Because you yourself are the light. You don't have to make anything. You're the light. And you're the salt that saves who are dying. And so the lamps, all you have to do is close it to turn it off, but all you have to do is leave it on. And Isaiah 6, it says, Arise and shine the light. Why? Because the glory of the Lord is upon you. First Peter 2 9, you are the royal priest God has called you to shine his light. Not just the priest, a royal priest. A holy nation. That's right. When you realize it, it becomes right. 싹 바꾸시고 아무것도 걱정하지 마시고 여러분이 계시는 그 자체가 축복이 되는 거예요. Change everything. Don't worry about anything. You just being there. That will change everything. 많은 사람 임직 주문 말해 임직 받는 자체가 축복이에요. A lot of people talk about ordinations, but that ordination in itself is the blessing. 나는 교수님들 보고 그랬습니다. 아무것도 할 필요 없어요. 교수님이 있는 자체가 축복이에요. I told the professors this. 그렇죠. You don't have to do anything else. Just you being there is the blessing. 너는 세상 빛이요 소금이다. You are the light, the salt of the world. 여기는 또이 빛을 and I've called you to truly shine this light. You, 
You must remember this. When you know this, you go to church, you know very easily what to do and what not to do. 보통 우리 이제 그 부교자들에 보면은 여러 명의 부교자 있잖아요. Now when I look at the assistant pastors, there's so many of them. 그이 사람들 주로 보면 뭐뭐 뭐 하는 거 하니까 막 이리저리 자꾸 사람 만나고 그래서 인간관계를 잘하려고 좋게 말하면 이런 모범을 치더라고요. And I usually see the people going to meet many of the church members, and they're trying to have good interpersonal relationships. 좀 나쁘게 말하면 이제 자기의 무슨 이익을 위해서. In a bad view, they're just trying to make good relationships for their benefit later on. 그런데 교회 가면은 교인을 내가 모르잖아요. But when you go to church, I don't know the church. 그래서 사무원 보고 얘기한 겁니다. And so I talked to the staff in the office. 내가 틀림없이 그럴 줄 알고 얘기했어요. And I told them, knowing that this would be true. 교적부 정리를 내가 좀 하면 안 되겠냐 모르니까 아안 그래도 해야 된다는 거 주세요. I asked them, "Can I organize the church registry?" And they said, "Oh, we need to update it." 교인들 누가 이제 직업이 뭔지 너무 너무 보니까 볼거 많더라고. 그렇구나. 나 처음 왔으니까. And looking at who the church members were and what their work and job was, I came for the first time, so I needed to know this. 그거 하면서 뭘 했는 거니까 중고등 학생 찾아냈어요. And looking at that, I looked for the middle school, high school students. 부모님이 교인인데 교회 안 오는 중고등 학생 많아요. Their parents are church members, but there's so many kids that don't come to church. And the numbers were large. It was like hundreds of kids. Middle school, high school, the Sunday school only had 40-50 kids. And the church members were 300-400, but there's only 30 kids in Sunday school. So it doesn't match the ratio. 그러니까 사업도 그렇게 해야 되는 거예요. And so you got to do business that way. 아, 그래 어떤 찾아갔죠. 연락하고. And so I went to meet them. I contacted them. 그래서 이제 전화하면 뭐 연락이 되고 내가 뭐 찾아가고 학교 가고 이렇게 한 거예요. And I called from church. I would meet them in their homes and their schools. 걔들이 모두가 변한 건 아닙니다. And of course, not everybody changed. 그러나 분위기는 전체를 바꾼 거예요. But the atmosphere changed everything. 별거 한 것도 아닌데. 그 어른들이 뭐라고 말하냐면요. 어, 우리 이때까지 학교에서 내가 선생 오래 했는데 이런 전도 사람 처음 봤더니. And I didn't really do much, but what the adults were saying, the teachers were saying. 뭐한게 없는데 나 찾아가서 걔들 말씀 주고 밖에 없는데. You know, I've been teaching for such a long time. I've never seen a system pastor like this. Only thing I did was go to church and give them the word. 잘 생각해 보세요. You have to think about this. 축복받을 망대는 쫙 깔려 있습니다. The church officers, the blessing of the partisan is waiting for you. The three fisheries are waiting for you. You must first go to this. The disaster zone. It is urgent. What method do you need? What theories do you need? You're going to save these dying people. You don't need all these ideologies or theories. These disaster zones are dead. That is why it's bound to be disaster zones. If you look at it carefully, it is the golden fishery. Look at it. If you view it correctly, it is the golden fishery. In business or evangelism, you could do it fully. In business or evangelism, you could do it fully. In business or evangelism, you must do evangelism and change your style. You must do it biblically as the partisan and truly find the people in here. You must do business that way. Absolutely. So more important than the partisan is the watchman. And the Bible says that he has raised the business people as the watchman. How can you make this partisan? This is important. And it's not difficult. You have to set your standard of prayer. What is prayer? 목사님의 설교를 듣고 우리 본부 집회를 듣고 연기를 시기 보면 살아있는 말씀으로 보여져야 돼요. 
When you connect the message of your pastor and the headquarters, it must be alive. 군데 군데 가 보니까 많은 사람들이 옛날 이야기라고 생각한 장세기 3장이 군데 군데 보이더라. And when I went, I saw the Genesis 3. That was everywhere. The word was alive. 아이고 뭐 다락방에는 뭐 이렇게 단어가 많으냐 이제 안 가면 단어가 필요 없어요. And they say, why is there so many terms in Darak? Don't go to the field. You don't need these terms. 아 길을 안 가는데 뭐 때문에 이정표가 필요합니까? If you don't go the path, you don't need a road sign. 그렇죠. That's right. 아 이정표가 필요 없다 말을 안 가니까 필요 없고 이름도 살 필요가 없어. You don't need the road signs. You don't need new terms if you're not going to these places. 다른 사람이 또 여행을 할때 안전하게 만들어줄 이유가 없다면 그 이정표 이름 달 필요가 없는 거예요. And so, if you don't have to keep the people safe with their travel, you have to set these road signs that show Tokpyeong and Yangji, or else people cannot discern. The word of God is the word of God because it's alive and working even now. You must be able to see this. That is how you can live. It's not difficult. That's the standard. The word is alive and working in me. What happens after that? Naturally, you'll see the future. And so you're looking at what to do, how how to do the work, making mistakes, just wasting time. Just look at the standard of the living word. Then you will gain strength. That strength will make you into the summit. That is the standard. So all business people first establish your personal partisan. Even now it is at work. Christ. Christ. The kingdom of God. Only Holy Spirit. What is more important than this? It doesn't cost any of your strength. If you're told to make something and bring it here, then it's going to be hard to do. But all you have to do is believe. Look at this. The business people entered here. How amazing is that? And the key to that is the travelers from Rome. Roma because you must do Rome evangelization. You saw these travelers from Rome. 그랬더니 사도행 2장 17절 18절에 꿈을 꾸고 환상을 보고 장례일을 말아. And we see Acts chapter 2, 17, 18. They had visions and dreams, and they told of the future. That's all you need. 그렇다면 여러분 지금 여기 앉아 계시는 게 내일 주일을 예배하는 게그 자체가 응답이요. Then you just sitting here giving worship tomorrow, that in itself is the blessing. 영적으로 내게 각인 탁 되는 것은 예배할 때 각인돼요. The spiritual imprint takes place when we're giving worship. 나머지 것은 뿌리 내는 거죠. Everything else is being rooted. 우리 하루 종일 왜 메시지 듣습니까? 뿌리 내는 거죠. We listen to the message all day long to be rooted. That's right. 체질 되게 뿌리 내는 거죠. We make it so to be rooted. 왜 하루 종일 뿌리 내는 거죠. We pray all day to be rooted. 집회를 한다, 모임을 가진다, 예배 드린다. The conference, the meeting, the worship, that is when it's implemented. Don't lose hold of it. That is why we have conferences. And when we do the conference, have the worship, and it's imprinted in us, and that's what becomes our answer. And when this takes place, naturally the field partisan takes place. First, works like this arise. These people went and they gave all the offering because they received so much grace. That's this. How could God guide us in this way? They gave all the offering. And even though they were trying to block it, because the works of those three thousand disciples arose, and there was such a great wind, three thousand disciples arose. 
이제 예배가 살아나잖아요. And because of that, worship was restored. The teaching of the apostles. They broke bread. Fellowship. And they devoted themselves to prayer. There's a remnant who is getting married and they're going to America and I told them there's nothing else, just hold to the covenant, do this. Well, if they just hold to the covenant, then the answer is well come. Then just do that. That is the mission home. Help the kids, that's all you can say. Help the people in your midst, that's the regional church. As the remnant was saying, the church is too far, I can't go from my school. Give worship where you are, just give the message to the internet. And if there are other people who need, you can gather together, that's the regional church. And you connect it to the field, this becomes the partisans of the world. The partisans of the word. Look at it in detail. 분명히 저는 브리스가 부부라고 생각하는데 어쨌든 로마에서 온 나라를 찾은 거예요. And I absolutely think it's the Prisca couple, but these were the visitors from Rome. 그리고 바울이 복음 받고 난리가 났잖아요. 거기에 로마에서 온 브리스 부부를 만나게 됩니다. And when Paul received the gospel, there was an uproar, and he met the Priscilla couple from Rome. 여기에 같은 장소 안 있었다 해도요, 이래만 하다는 자체가 벌써 이거는 다른 얘기예요. Even if they were not in the same place earlier, that they were able to meet is a great, amazing story. 이 사람들이 결국은 로마 복음을 위해 생을 걸은 거예요. And these people stick their lives for Roman evangelization. 당연히 이게지 로마 사람이니까. It's rightful because they are Romans. 또 유대인이니까. And they were Jewish. 이두 부부가 만나니까 놀라운 일이 벌어진단 말이야. This couple got together and amazing works arose. 그래서 세계 복음의 문이 열리기 시작합니다. And the doors for world evangelization took place. 이 축복입니다. This is the blessing. 여러분들은 절대 놓치지 마셔야 됩니다. You must absolutely not lose hope. 지금부터 이제 이렇게 은약 딱 가지고 있으면 여러 가지가 보입니다. Starting from now, if you hold to this covenant, you will see many things. In conclusion, the Bible speaks of the future things of people you will meet, the gospelization will This gospel will become personalized. And when personalization takes place, globalization takes place. I told you before. I was an assistant pastor, and the churches would fight so much. The young believers, they cannot even fight. They don't have the position, so they're just tested. If they had the position, they would have fought, but they don't have the position. And the elders would create these uh, dissenting uh, teams and they would fight so much. And when I look at them, they don't seem human. They really look pitiful. But inside of that, there are committed workers as well. And so I got some young adults together, and we did the word movement, and works arose. And I still can't forget, that's why I keep speaking of it, there are deacons who truly evangelize. And there was this deacon, who was working abroad, but they were sitting there when I was giving the district message. And so I saw them, I said, oh, they're back in Korea, I was very uh, welcoming, and I was going to see them later. But 
but there was a new believer who was sitting there receiving grace. 장로님들은 그볼 눈이 없습니다. The elders don't even have the eyes to see that. 이 친구 저 뒤에 앉아 있다 어떻게 왔는지 그 옆에가 앉는 거예요. But this worker was sitting way in the back. He saw him and came sat next to him. 성경도 못 찾아 신자 어디 어딘지도 몰라. He's a new believer. He doesn't know where the passages are in the Bible. 그래 딱 보니까 이제 내가 메시지를 보고 막 찾아주고 이러는 거예요. And so he was finding all the passages for him when I give the message. 이렇게 다릅니다. That's how different it is. 무슨 일을 해야 되겠습니까? What must we do? 교회 안에 위대한 일을 해야 되겠습니까? Should we do something great in the church? 그다 허상입니다. 어떤 면에서? That is all falsehood. 할 거를 해야지. You must do the proper things. 그러니까 이 친구가 아, 그럼 뭐 고마워가지고 잘해. 그걸 끝난 게 아니요. And he was so thankful for that, but it doesn't end there. 예배 끝나고 나와 보니까요, 그 친구 딱 데리고 등나무 밑에 앉아가 또 성경 이야기. And after the worship, he was sitting down, and they were going over the passages again. 진짜 그런 사람 보면요. 참, 업어주고 싶을 정도예요. I want to look at people like that. I want to give them a piggyback ride. 그렇게도 주의 일이 어렵습니까? Is it so difficult this work of the Lord? 이게 되어야 됩니다. This must take place. 꼭 우리 중직자 사람들 여러분을 위해서라도 하나님의 은약 잡으셔야 돼요. Church officer, business people, for your sake, you must hold to the covenant of God. 기도하겠습니다. Let's pray. 만왕의 왕이신 주 예수 그리스도의 은혜와 the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ who is the King of Kings. 하나님의 무한하신 사랑하심과 the unending love of our Father God. 성령님의 역사하심이 working of the Holy Spirit. 전국 세계에 있는 산업인들과 중직자들 위해. Talk about the church officers and business people across the nation and the world. 지금부터 영원까지. From now, 항상 함께 계실지어다. Amen. It's Remnant's platform. So it is Genesis 41, 38, the platform that Remnant Joseph had. Remnant들은 지금이라도 이렇게 시작하면 성공합니다. So starting from now, if you can start this way, you will become successful. Where must you begin? Let's write it in English. Original stream. This is what's important. So there is a stream of all things. Where are you going to start? Where is the origin? Remnants, all you need to do is understand in these two ways. Everyone started off from here. This is where people originated from. People left God, and even without God, they had power. And there was no need for them to believe in God because they could still become successful without God. Eventually and ultimately, they crumbled, but they didn't think that way. They thought that they could begin again. And that was their starting point. And from there, the culture derived. And from there, finances and economy derived. And societies were formed, and according to that, they were doing their politics. They were doing their politics. And remnants, however, you must begin from Genesis 3.15. You must begin from Genesis 6.15. You need to start off from the ark that was blocking disasters. And from there, you can start off just like Abraham, who went off starting with God's word. 
영성이 먼저 일어나야 되는 거예요. You need to first and foremost have the spirituality uh, with which that you can have is originated from Genesis 3, 6. And Genesis chapter 12. And from there you can have a skill, your academics. And whether you're getting good grades or not, if you can start off from this promise, then you can be successful. However, if you start off with Genesis 3, 6, and 11, even if you're doing well, that's not true success. And according to Genesis 3, 15, 6, 14, and 12, 1 through 3, the culture derives and you can become a witness. That's why, remnants, you must remember the importance of the stream. So during the opening worship service for the Youth Evangelism Institute, I'm going to share with you the covenant that you need to hold on to for your entire life. That is why, remnants, you need to remember the order or priority. Even if you're not getting good grades, and even if you are getting good grades, it's all right, just remember the order. Don't think about uh, all the answers, but starting with your day and for your entire life, think about the spiritual system. Don't try to receive answers, because it's not a timing for you to receive answers yet. So establish the spiritual system. And there is a system that continues with the spiritual system. And that order is very important. So what you are receiving right now is not what's important. Later on, you will see the answer that continues. So last week, this is what I said to the RTS seminarians. I do remember the names of all the students that I went to school with who did very well. And because of I remember their names, I can see how they're doing these days. There isn't a single person who's doing the pastoral ministry well. It's so unfortunate because they were so outstanding students. What was their commonalities is that they did not keep this order. Even after becoming a pastor, there wasn't a subsequent consequential answer. So remnants, you must not lose hold of this, what is most important. Don't even worry about your school grades. You need to do this order and receive what God gives to you. So what's going to happen that you graduate from the top tier university of the world and you have spiritual problems? Even if you graduated from a, a you know, peripheral a college, uh, but you're receiving answers, then that's it. Which means naturally, there will be a system that you can conquer. So when you look at the outline for number one, this is the references of how the remnants, they had victory. Simply put, prior to receiving answers, the remnants, they became spiritually mature. Even though they are very young in age, but spiritually, they are leaders. Even though they did not have, have any position, but spiritually, they are the summit. That's what's important. And according to your spiritual system, the system gets connected. Then what follows? Talent is given by God. You will be able to see that talent. With that talent, if you can just have a sense of specialty and sense of the field, then you are bound to have 
God is in charge of your life, and if your talent does not come from the spiritual system, then what's going to happen? Isn't that the same as unbeliever? There's no need for us to live just like unbeliever who have lost their way. You must remember. And at this time, it's always been like this. Do you know what becomes greater for you? So the method of conquering will become media. So it's not an amazing fact that during the time of Moses that he recorded of you know the Pentateuch. So ultimately it is a contract free, the untapped strategy. And it now has become very prevalent, and it was the same even in the past. And then when disciples arise, it becomes in person. It is the same, all businesses, all studies, and even all evangelism. And it's just a difference of your area, that it's a home or your work or a church, but the principle is the same. That is why you're preparing your vessel. You need to find what you must do right now. What is optimal? That's what God desires of you. All you need to do is start this way. When you don't know, then there's no need for you to do. But when you uncover it, then that's what you need to challenge. And then you do your best. And for us, it's from our standpoint, is our doing our best, but it's different. It is according to God's time schedule. We run, looking forward to that. And remnants, you need to draw this picture. You need to draw this greatest picture. This is God's goal. Do not lose hold of any single aspect of this. What is optimal, what is best, and what's the greatest. It's not the same terminology that unbelievers use. Why are you doing optimal? God desires of you. And if you, it is towards God's time schedule, which is our best. Why are you doing optimal? God desires of you. Why is it important for you to listen to the announcements of the church so that you can follow God's time schedule, which is the best? And of course, from the pastor's sermon, you can listen to God's time schedule, but even with the announcements too. What is God's goal? You are heading towards the greatest. Remnants do not lose hold of this. So church officers, it seems like you're doing everything, but it seems like you're also losing hold of everything, so do it in this order. So this is what I said to the seminarians last week, because I remembered. I'm sure there are these people who are nice to me, who are good to me. And because this friend was so good to me while I was going to school, I was very grateful. And I think that that person was just good to everybody. We went to the same college, we went to the same semi seminary. And perhaps he was just so outstanding that he got appointed to be hired by a greatest church in Busan. So he was so different. So uh, while we are attending school, there are times that we go on a, a trip. 
주로 학 교회다가 또 얘기해서 받아서 가잖아요. And we were seminaries and we were assistant pastors. That's why we didn't have much money, so we would ask the church to support us. 나는 그더라고요 But I didn't like that. 그뭐안 가면 되지 뭐그뭘 그리고 또뭐 교회에서 돈 받아가 뭐. I'd rather not go than you know trying to get money from the church. 교회 분위기가 보니까 뭐좀 그렇더라고. 그래서 뭐뭘 그냥 뭐 받아서 가겠냐. That was the atmosphere of the church at the time, so I didn't want to get any funding from the church. That was the level of my status. Whereas this friend, he would go to the elders, the ordained deacons of the church, and he got so much funding. And he went to the trip, and he just gave so many gifts and presents to the professors. And I don't know, maybe because of such a work of bribery, but he got all A's. So at first I was a little bit taken in back, but I changed my thoughts. Because for him to be able to do such a work, that's his own ability. And the one who's giving the grades is not me, but the professor. Because from the professor's point of view, if he deserves such a good grade, then, then he, he's given that good grade. There's a difference between himself and mine. Myself is that we have different abilities and capacities. But is that really the case? After graduation, we went to our own respective fields. After a passage of a long time, later on I received a letter. I looked at the person who sent the letter and it was him. He was doing things so diligently all the time, but I looked at the sender's address, it was different. It had the postal uh, PO box. When there is a, a PO box information that's from the prison, which means the letter was sent uh, from the prison. And he said, oh, I'm so sorry to contact you in this way, um, but I need money for my attorney's fees. And I think that's so obvious. Of course, I can give him a help. So I contacted his wife, the pastor's wife, and sent the money. And I thought it was so unfortunate. And I and I went to church, and then that pastor came out, which means he came out of the prison. So I met this one person by coincidence, and I asked, What happened to that pastor? Because he was you know, close to me. And the person that I met by coincidence said that the pastor passed away recently because he had cancer. I said, OK. I'm not trying to criticize him here. I'm not trying to say, oh, he died because of cancer, because of this. What I'm trying to tell you is that keep this priority, this order. Let us pray. Father God, the remnants that you have called, they are the people of your greatest blessing. Help our remnants to prepare the things of yours. 아무것도 염려하지 말고 하나님의 자녀로 빛의 자녀로 누리게 해 주옵소서. May we not be worried about anything, but may we enjoy just like children of God as children of light. 기도하옵나이다. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 어, 망대의 시작입니다. The start of the partisan. Mark chapter 3 verse 13 it says Jesus called to him those he wanted. Verse 14 it says that he might be with them. And to teach them that that in itself is evangelism so he sent them out to preach. 
귀신 내어주는 권세도 있게 하기 위해 불렀다. And there are these beings that try to deceive you, so he gave you the authority to drive out demons. 조금 여러분이 시급하게 준비를 하셔야 됩니다. And there is this urgent need for preparation. 금토일 시대 열매서 조금 시급하게 준비해야 됩니다. We must quickly prepare for the Friday, Saturday, Sunday age. 지금 초등 학생들입니다. And especially our elementary school students. 특히 어, 6학년들 저는 볼때 갈급해지더라고요. Especially when you look at the sixth graders, they are truly desperate. 어, 복음 한 번도 못 듣고 졸업합니다. They graduate without having heard the gospel once. 여러분 아시다시피 중학교 가면 분위기 완전히 바뀝니다. Because as you know, when you go into middle school, the atmosphere completely changes. 자, 그렇다면 우리의 책임은 굉장히 큽니다. Then our responsibility is truly great. 예, 초등학교 때에 예, 복음을 예, 정확하게 들어야 돼요. They must accurately hear the gospel when they are in elementary school. 예, 물론 각인됐다가 나중에 그산 아이들이 대부분입니다. Of course, the majority is that they are imprinted when they are young, and later on the works and answers come. 그러나 완전히 변화하는 아이들도 있습니다. But there are children who completely transform. 저는 여기서 성경에 깨달은 게 다락방 깨달았어요. And what I realized in the Bible is Tarakbang. Ah, 초등학교 때막 다락방에서 말씀 운동했는데 어, 우리 학생들에게 해야 되겠다라고 생각했습니다. In the early church, they did this Tarakbang movement, and I thought we need to do this with our students. 어, 될수 있으면 검토일 시대 열리거나 성경 열리면 아이들에게 마음에 탁 닿는 설명을 해주고 외우게 하세요. And so when we start this three-day weekend age with the Bible school, we must help the children really memorize the important things, the words that move us. And I look at the future for our children, and in the uh, future I will teach them to learn to memorize in foreign languages. 어, 어떤 아이는 중국어, 어떤 일본어, 어떤 영어 이렇게 외우게 만드는 거죠. I will help them uh, memorize in Chinese, Japanese, or English. 할때 무조건 외우게 하지 말고 이 부분에 대한 걸잘 이해하도록 만들 외우게 하면 완전히 각인되는 겁니다. And it's not forced learning. You must help them understand the importance of this, and if they are able to imprint that, that's very good. 어, 초등학교 때 단어 각인된 거는 사실상 영원히 갑니다. And the terms that are imprinted when you're in elementary school, it will last forever. 근데 저는 교사와 교회가 아이들에게 이걸 안 해주는 것은 가장 큰 죄라고 생각합니다. And I think if the teacher, the church does not do this for the children, that's the biggest sin. 많은 사람들 회개하라는데 나는 그거 회개했다고 생각합니다. A lot of people say repent, but I think this is what they must repent over. 뭐 어쩌다가 뭐 지나가다가 남의 집에 뭐가 갖다 먹은 거막꼭 회개해야 됩니까? And if you walk down the street and you pick an apple off a tree and eat it, do you have to really uh, repent for those sins? 꼭 어릴 때 우리 말이죠. 뭐 남의 밭에 무 뽑아 먹은 거 그거 뭐꼭 회개해야 됩니까? When you were young and you went to somebody neighbor's garden and picked a radish, do you have to uh, really repent for that? 유대인들은 진짜 죄가 뭔지를 몰랐어요. The Jewish people truly did not understand what sin was. 어, 율법 그 조문 다 지키도 못하면서. 그거 못 지키는 걸 죄라고 얘기했어요. They could not keep every single commandment, yet they considered not keeping that. 물론 뭐 그럴 수도 있습니다. Of course, you could call it that. 그 사람들은 하나님 모릅니다. But they did not know God. 영적인 건 모릅니다. They did not know the spiritual thing. 가장 큰 죄예요. That's the biggest sin. 그리고 후대까지 망하는 죄입니다. It is the sin that makes even your posterity fail. 그렇다면 여러분 편안하게 아이들 금토일 시대 열어서 이제 옵니다 오르기 때문에 그 말씀을 좀 강인시켜야 돼요. So conveniently, the three-day weekend age will come upon us. You must imprint the word upon them. 중고등학생들은요, 여러분 아시다시피 삼중 생활합니다. The middle school, high school students, as you know, live three different lives. 삼중 생활하기 때문에 학교, 집, 교회에서 각 다르게 행동합니다. And because they live three lives at school, home, and church, they have all different personalities. 그럴 수 없잖아요. It's bound to be that way. 똑같이 행동 안 하고 어, 다르게 하는 똑같이 하는 거를 보고 모질했나라고 하거든요. 그러나 좀 똑똑한 애들은 다 따로따로 합니다. 
And so the people who act the same way everywhere, they're kind of lacking, but the smart kids will act differently everywhere. 그래서 우리 중고등학생들에게는 가장 중요한 게요. The most important aspect for middle school, high school students. 저는 그 아들에게 복음 쪽지들을 돌려줬어요. I used to hand out these gospel papers to them. 걔들이 가장 질문하고 싶은 것 같아. And the questions that they have and the answers to that. 그래서 그는 급해서 그때 그랬고요. 지금은 중고등학생들에게는 완전히 각인되는 포럼이 필요합니다. So I did it because it was urgent back then, but now they truly need the deep forum that imprints. 우리가 예를 들어서 누가 불신앙을 얘기하면 계속 불신앙 얘기 쭉 하면 그것도 각인되거든요. 애들에게는 도움도 조금 되지만 영적으로는 굉장한 문제를 줍니다. And if somebody keeps talking about disbelief continuously, that will be imprinted as well. It might seem helpful at first, but that will have spiritual problems. 만약에 한번 상상을 해보세요. Imagine it. 진짜 은혜 받는 아이들이 계속적인 포럼과 간증을 한다고 생각해 보세요. If a child truly receives grace, continues to share forum and testimony, what's going to happen? 예, 거기에는 중고등학생에게 성령의 바람이 불 겁니다. The wind of the Holy Spirit will blow upon that student. 이런 게 없는 겁니다. And this is what we're missing. 그래서 중원 부원 하지 말라고 했는데 중원 부원하는 종교에게 지고 있잖아요. And says, "Do not recite these incantations of religions." But we're losing to them. 그 예수님이 의미 있는 말이 중원본 하지 마. 중원본 하니까 중원본 하지 말라고 한 거거든요. And so Jesus said, "Don't do that," because people were continuously doing that. 쉽게 말하면 중원본 그게 반복이란 말이요. And they are continuously repeating these chants. 좋게 말하면 뭐죠? What is a good way? 집중 아닙니까? It is concentration. 그 사람들의 역사에 남니까 안 남니까? Do works arise for them? 나잖아요. It arises. 그게 문제입니다. That is the problem. 아니 집중해서 우상숭배 계속 하거나 막 남매 그런 게 외우거나 계속 외우면 역사 일어나잖아요. If you continue to focus on idolatry and continue to repeat, 남녀 그런 게 계속 works will arise. 그 사람들 틀린 걸 그렇게 열심히 하고 있는데 우리는 올바른 걸안 하니까. They're doing the incorrect things with such fervor, but we're not even doing the correct things. 가셔야 됩니다. You must do it. 지금 그냥 메시지 하는 게 아니고 어, 여러분들이 대비해야 돼요. I'm not just giving you a message. You must prepare. 지금 대학생들 어떻습니까? What about the college students? 일단 대학생들은 이제는요 눈치가 있기 때문에 거의 다가 포장해 있다고 보면 돼요. And we know the college students, they have their senses, so they're covering everything up. 특히 한국 사람들도 체면 문화이기 때문에 더 포장을 잘하죠. Especially in Korea, they are very much a high sense in covering everything up. 자, 이 대학생들에게 여러분이 지금 금토일 여덟 시대를 여는 정말 그 주역이 되도록 만들어 줘야 돼요. And we must help these college students be the main figures of the three-day weekend. 그래 행사만 자꾸 하는 것도 중요하지만은 대학생들이 이제 요때의 마지막입니다. 실제 기도에 대한 것을 굉장히 과학적으로, 의학적으로, 성경적으로, 보험적으로 분석을 해야 돼요. And we can't just continue to do events. We must truly help the college students be able to pray scientifically, medically, biblically, spiritually. 대학생 때요. When they are college students. 정말 말씀과 기도 실제. We'll have the actual reality of the words of God. Oh, 어떻게 포장돼 있는 거 어릴 때부터 다 감춰진 거다 있잖아요. 그걸 갖다 그대로 다 갖고 어떻게 갑니까? How could they do with the things that they've been covering up from a young age? You cannot do with that. 자 청년들은 포장 정도가 아닙니다. And young adults, it's not just covering it up. 청년들은 완전히 지금 막 가장을 해야 돼 가장을. And the young adults, they must make things up. 기바꾸에 대해 완전히. They need to change things. 그래서 이 청년들은 점점 갈수 힘이 없어진다 이제. And that is why young adults, as time passes, they lack the strength. 자기 확인이 돼야 됩니다. They must be able to confirm themselves. 이런 나를 주장한단 말이 아니요. 자기 확인이 돼야 돼요. It's not focusing on the self. They must be able to confirm themselves. 이것도 안된 주제에 뭘 하겠다 할때 이제 굉장히 하나만 잘못돼도 혼란이 오는 거죠. Trying to do something without having done this, even if one thing goes awry, everything crumbles. 그래서 청년들은 이제는 이 세계를 넘어서서 좀 체험해야 돼요. And so the young adults, you must go beyond these three to experience. 
그래서 저로의 찬스입니다. 금토일 시대는. It's the absolute opportunity for us the three day weekend. 그러니까 뭐 지금 아무리 시대는 교회에서 보내야 될 겁니다. 그래 안 하면 이 흑암 못 이기고 중독된 자 살릴 수도 없어요. The three day weekend we must spend it at the church or else we cannot overcome the darkness or this problem of addiction. 그리고 이제는 어, 중직자들이나 기성세대 보세요. And look at the church officers or the older generation. 이 사람들은 거의 자기 주장에 잡혀 있습니다. 나이가 그래요. These are people who are stuck on their own stubbornness. That's their age. 이 기성세대이기 때문에 이 나이 정도 되면 그래도 살아남으려면 자기 게 있어야 되잖아요. 그렇죠. They are the adult generation to be able to survive. They need to have something that is of their own. 그게 답이고 그게 한계고 그게 문제거든요. That is their answer, 그렇죠. their limitation, and their problem. 이걸 어떻게 뒤집어 줄 거냐입니다. How can we flip that upside down for them? 그래서 오히려 중직자 때요. 변화를 주지 않으면 그 사람은 그대로 끝납니다. And if they cannot have this transformation as church officers, then they will remain the same way. 예, 중직자 때 그야말로 검토일 시대를 열어서 자꾸 남 가르치고 인도하려고 하지 말고 본인에게 큰 힘이 나는 변화가 나야 돼요. Don't try to continue to teach them or do something else. They must have a true change take place through this three-day weekend. 그래서 완전히 중직자의 불견제는 실제로 하면 이 기도 서밋을 어린 아이에게 맡길 게 아니고 해야 될 시간표가 왔다 이거죠. And so it is a time schedule for the church offices to truly become the prayer summit. Don't entrust it to kids. 자 그래서 많은 부교육자들과 특히 목사님들은 기억해야 돼요. Many of the assistant pastors and our pastors must remember this. 열두 제자와 70인 제자. The 12 disciples and the 70 disciples. 12 사도와 70인 제자라고 볼수 있습니다. You could say the 12 apostles and the 70 disciples. 어, 지금 그 거의 중직 어, 교육자들 있는 사람들은 이미 각인된 그릇을 갖고 있거든요. Because already many of these pastors have a vessel that has been imprinted. 예, 작은 그릇도 필요합니다. You need small vessels as well. 그러나 커야 될 그릇이 크지 못하면 사고하고 관계 있습니다. But if the vessel is not enlarged, then it has to do with accidents that occur. 여러분 교회를 크게 크게 해야 될 상황인데 크게 하지 않으면요 분열과 많은 위기와 관계 있어요. If you cannot enlarge your church at the correct time schedule, then it will lead to dissension and conflict. 그래서 한국 교회 거의 90%가 500명 넘어서면서 사고 당한 거예요. That is why 90% of the Korean churches, when you go for 500 members, that's when the problems occur. According to statistics, because the church is not the vessel to be able to handle 500 members, that's why you have to. 분열을 쪼개져서 개척을 하고 해야 되는데 우리 한국 개척사는 분열에서 쪼개진 겁니다. And so people are splitting up and being scattered. If you look at the history of the Korean church, it's continuously splitting. 그러니까 쉽게 말하면은 그릇이 500명만 담 300명밖에 못 담는데 500명이 오니까 문제가 되는 거예요. And so the vessel can only hold 300 people. 500 people come, it's going to be a problem. 꼭 기억해야 됩니다. You must remember. 그래서 this. 우리 많은 부교육자들은 그릇 준비하는 겁니다. That's why many of our assistant pastors, you must prepare your vessel. 쉽게 말하면 전국 세계에다가 망대를 세우는 거예요. So cross the nation and the world, raise the partisan. 여기 잘못해 버리면 정말 막막 나를 나타내고 우리를 나타내고 우리 교회를 나타내고 다락방을 나타내고 이렇게 되기 쉬운데 그거는 실패입니다. And if you're not careful, you'll try to stand out and try to make your church stand out and try to make 다락방 stand out. That is a failure. 비밀의 망대를 세우는 겁니다. You must secretly create these partisans. 어 우리가 조상기 때 시수된 부분이 통제가 안 되더라고요. 너무 우리가 드러나 버려. And early on, uh, we made this mistake. We could not control it. We, we were truly uh, being let out too much. 전구 막 세계 교회다 타격을 그냥 막한방 그냥 때린 거지. 이게 막 폭발해 버린 거야. All the churches across the nation and the world, we really uh, landed a blow upon them, and so they blew back. 이게 조금 잘못이 아니었나 하는 생각이 듭니다. And so I think that that was a mistake that we made. 여러분 그렇게 하면 안 돼요. You must not do it that way. 조용히 겸손히 복음 드려야 될 사람들의 망대를 조용히 많이 세워야 돼요. 
quietly, humbly share this gospel to the people that need it through raising the partisan. 마지막으로는 이제는 어떻게 할 겁니까? And finally, what must we do? 이 삼실로 오천 종족인데요. The 237 nations, 5,000 tribes. 어, 이 사람들은 꼭 기억해야 됩니다. 중고등에서의 삼중생활 하듯이 이 삼치 어린 사람들은 전부 감추어 두고 있습니다. And you must think, just like the middle school students who live three lives, the people from all these nations, they're hiding everything. You must turn them into healing and the summit. 자, 각 나라의 문화 갖고 있죠. Every nation has their own culture. 그게 고정관념 될 수도 있고 상처 될 수도 있고요. That could be their the thoughts that they're stuck in or their scars. 자, 그 사람들의 그 부분을 안 바꿔주면 안 되는 거죠. And so if you don't change that aspect of them, it's not going to work. 예를 들어서 봅시다. 대만 이렇게 할 때, 원래 대만은 원주민이 살던 데란 말이에요. For example. 그렇죠? Let's take a look at Taiwan. It's a place where they had their own native. 뭐 영국이 공격하고 말이야, 중국이 공격하고, 일본이 공격하고 이렇게 파고들어 간 거예요. 가만히 있는 나라를. And so this is the nation that existed. And England attacked, China attacked, Japan attacked. This nation that was there. 그리고 원래 거기 사고는 막 상처 엄청 많아요. And so the people who are there, they have so many scars. They don't know what to do. 모든 걸 감추고 있는 겁니다. They're hiding everything. 지금도 또 중국이 우리 땅이다 막 우리 우리 가지고 간다 막 이런 식에서 싸움 되고 있잖아요. Even now, China is threatening that this is our sovereign land and that they're going to take it. 또 개인적으로 어떻습니까? What about personally? It is full of idols. And so they're hiding all of this and they came to church. And so you keep singing a couple songs and you go, that's not going to change them. You need to take a hold of them and heal them. And so we have to do the best in our own life. The best in our own life. And in Tarapan, what we must do the best is the three-day weekend age. And so we must do these urgent things. Not just an answer, but the gospel answer. We must do this quickly. Then it will solve everything. We must receive the gospel answer to be the real answer. Oppositely, it could be a legalistic answer. We could receive answers according to my will. We could receive it according to emotions. You could do it through curiosity or your own ambition. But those will lead to failure. So you can do later. You must receive the gospel answer to be the real answer. You must receive the gospel answer to be the real answer. You must receive the gospel answer to be the real answer. You must receive the gospel answer to be the real answer. You must receive the gospel answer to be the real answer. This is the most important command of God that you must do. So this is the most important command of God that you must do. This is the greatest answer. So this is the most important command of God that you must do. Jesus at the very beginning called to him those he wanted. And so looking at these people ahead, you must urgently do the repentance. Through the gospel, it's urgent. So you must stake your life for the church. You will see, looking at these people. 초등학생은 하얀 종이와 같은데 우리가 더 먹칠을 해버리면 이제 못 바꿉니다. Elementary school students are like white pieces of paper. If we just 어떤 그림을 그리냐 따라서 못 바꿉니다. Paint them in the wrong picture, we cannot change them. 조금 급합니다. It is urgent. 초등학생들에게 정확한 복음 알수 있도록 만들어 주는 게 중요한. We must help the elementary school students receive the accurate gospel. 그래서 어느 게 오늘 모르기 때문에 하나님의 말씀 가지고 각인시킬 수밖에 없어요. And so we must imprint them with the words of God because we don't know anything else. 말씀도 여러 종류 있습니다. There are many types of the word. 다 하나님 말씀이니까 마음대로 해석할 수 있죠. It is all the word of God. They could interpret it any they want. 그러면 아브라함 얘기, 복음 설명하기서 아브라함 얘기 나왔지 얘기 중에 많은 것도 있잖아요. 틀린 것도 있고 많은 것이 실수 있잖아요. And so they talked about Abraham in the Bible to explain about the gospel, but there are many things that were right and wrong. And what 
원 s 생 you need to take all that in. They need to truly receive the gospel. 그래서 거의 다가 유대인들은요 많은 기적을 봤어요. And so many of the Jews they saw the importance of miracles. 이것 때문에 복음 놓칠 거예요. But because of that, they lost hold of the gospel. 또 마치 1, 2, 3 성전 이거 가지고요 오른 복음도 없이 이게 복음 받은 거예요. And the first, second, third temple, they blocked the gospel with this, without really knowing the true content of the gospel. Of 각종 말이죠. 율법 하나님의 말씀 복음 깨닫게 준 율법인데 이거 붙잡고 또 복음 막아. And this law that's supposed to help you understand the gospel, they used it to block the gospel. 그래서 내가 너희를 부르는 함께 있기 위함이다. That's what Jesus says. I've called you to be with you. 올바른 복음. The correct. 그리스도와 하나님이 나와 함께 있기 위함이다. That Christ and God was to be with us. 우리와 함께 있기 위함이다. To be with us. 모든 것을 합력해서 하나님의 계획을 이루는 그 축복 속에 함께 있기 위함이다. And to be in the blessing of bringing everything together for the good. 자, 금토일 시대 열대 주어야 되는 걸 지금 얘기하는 겁니다. And so I'm talking about the things that you must give three three day weekend age. 그리고 또 나가 전도도 하며. And to go out and preach. 시급한 전도입니다. It is the urgent. If I say, we must solve this. 딴거 급한 게 없어요. Nothing else is as urgent. 시급한 해결 중에 가장 큰게 뭡니까? What is one of the most urgent uh, resolutions? 이방인의 떨이 없기 때문에 우리는 만들어야 됩니다. Because there is no courtyard. 그래서 검토 시대 열자는 겁니다. We must make it in the three-day weekend age. 다 있는데 아이들의 떨이 없어서 예수님은 채식 들었잖아요. We have everything except the courtyard of children, so Jesus raised his whip. 많은 행사와 다 있는데 24%를 해야 되는 기도의 떨은 없었다 말이에요. We have many events, but they didn't have the 24-hour courtyard. 내 집은 마민의 기도하는 집이다, 그렇죠? My house is house of prayer. 거기를 강도의 굴로 만들었구나. 이 정도로 예수님은 격하게 말씀하셨어요. And you have turned it into a den of thieves. This is how serious Jesus was. 겁합니다. It is urgent. 시급한 복음을 가지고 해결해야 되고요. 시급한 전도 문제 해결해야 됩니다. We must urgently solve through evangelism, urgently solve through gospel. 좀 시급합니다. It is very urgent. 시급한 영적 문제 해결해야 돼요. We must urgently solve the spiritual problem. 얼마나 여러분이 축복받은 사람입니까? 이걸 할수 있다는 사실. How blessed are you that you can do this? 이런 work. 메시지를 여러분이 들고 듣고 전할 수 있다는 사실. That you could hear this message and relay it. 그래서 꼭 기억하세요. So you must remember. 작은 교회도 괜찮습니다. It is okay if you're a small church. 작은 교회일수록 더 잘해야 됩니다. You must do better as a small 네, 물론, church. 물론 시설이 좋으면 좋죠. It is great to have great facilities, but you could do it even without them. 그래서 감독님께서 이 외국인들 보면서 진짜 이거 보세요. 급합니다. And so look at these foreigners. It is urgent. 이 사람들은 거의 본인 모르고 있다니까요. They do, themselves don't even realize. 네피림 운동 속에 빠져 있다 왔잖아요. That they used to be in the Nephilim movement. 빠져 나오지도 않고 알지도 못해요. They were not able to escape. They didn't even know about it. 심각합니다. 삼단체에서 네피림 운동인데 접신 운동을 다다 왔다니까요. It is serious. The three organizations they're doing the Nephilim movement and they're doing the possession movement. 진짜 하나님 면으로 왔지. 이 사람들이 지금 교회 와서. They have come by God's grace, but they could come to church. We were there before. 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 이런 신접수를 하잖아요. And many of these religious ceremonies they do this uh, accepting of their gods. 네피림 운동 말씀 결국 다 같은 말입니다. 같은 말인데 여러 모양새를 가지고 지금 사람들을 보이게 안 보이게 사로잡고 있는 거예요. And it's all the same words, but seen and unseen, they are taking a hold of the people this way. 이걸 안 하는 것은 큰 잘못을 하고 있는 겁니다. 
그래서 우리만이라 도 하나님이 원하시는 교회를 하세요. 여러분 절대 교회 가서 원망하지 마세요. 교회 가서 하나님이 원하시는 걸 하란 말이에요. Don't go to church and grumble. Do the things that God desires. 누가 날 알아주고 못 알아주고 그런 어떤 육신적인 계급 보지 말고 하나님이 가장 원하시는 걸 내가 하라 이 말이에요. Don't look at the physical situation of who acknowledges me or not. Do the things that God desires most. 참된 응답이 여러분이 있는데 참된 응답을 못 받은 이유가 뭡니까? And you have the true answer, but what is it that you cannot enjoy this true answer? 자, 참된 응답 받아야 되는데 세 가지 때문에 그렇습니다. You must receive the true answer, and it's because of three things. 사람, people. 우리 사람이 얼마나 중요합니까? People are so important. 이 사람은 우리 그 영혼을 볼때 굉장히 중요하지요. When we look at the soul, a person is so important. 그러나 사람의 말 때문에 여러분들은 진짜 응답을 못 받아요. But because of the words of people, we are not able to receive true answers. 진짜 응답은 하나님이 주시잖아요. True people are important, but the true answers are given by God. 꼭 기억해야 됩니다. You must remember this. 그리고 이제 에, 또 이제 교회나 어디 가면 우리 일이 있잖아요. And so when we go to church, we have these works we have to do. 이 일은 하나님께 영광 돌릴 가장 중요한 것이지 일 때문에 내가 응답을 못 받는다는 것은 또 아니죠. And so these works are important things to glorify God, but because of work, if we don't receive the answer from God, then that's a big problem. 또 교회 안에는요 사소한 문제들이 많잖아요. And at church, there are these problems here and there. 일만 있는 게 아니요 사소한 문제들이 많아. It's not just work we have to do. There are these problems. 자 사소한 문제들에 우리의 모든 걸 걸어서 참된 복음을 다 뺏기면 안 되죠. These small problems shouldn't make us put our entire effort into them that we will lose hold of the gospel. We must be wary of this. 여러분들 교회 가셔서 앞으로 몇해 되거든요. 교회 가면 이래저래 무슨 뭐 문제들이 생겼어요. 네가 잘못했다. 내가 잘못 이런 거 말하는 겁니다. And when you go to church, there are you know problems that occur. You did this or you did that. There are many instances like that. 그러면 안 돼요. 여러분이 나서서 아, 잘 알지 못하고 도와주지 못한 기도하지 못한 나 잘못이다라고 얘기했어요. Don't do that. Go and say I'm sorry that I didn't pray and I didn't know and I didn't. 그런 인물이 하나도 없어요. But there's nobody that does that. 약간 문제 생기면 아, 뭐 누가 봐 내가 자기 아무 문제 없는 것처럼. If small problem occurs, they say I didn't do anything wrong and you made this problem. 그런데 희말리지 마라. 세계를 보고 말아. Don't get caught up in that. Do world events. 특히 이런 메시지는 핵심 메시지는 너무나 중요한. 미국 유럽에 있는 또전 세계 흩어져 있는 우리 사병자들 중요합니다 여러분은. Especially this core message is for the scattered important workers across America, Europe, and the world. You're so important. 이게 중요한 거지 이 일에 걸려들어서 진짜 응답은 못 받는 것은 아니라고 말해. This is important, but don't get caught up in that. You cannot receive the true answer. 네, 꼭 기억해야 됩니다. You must remember that. 사소한 일에 목숨 걸 필요 없습니다. Don't stick your life on the minuscule things. 우리는 하나님이 가장 원하시는 데다가 목숨 거는 거예요. We must stake our life on what God desires most. 오늘 잡고 어, 하나님이 보실 때 여러분이 얼마만큼 중요한가 하는 게 확인되어야 돼요. Hold to the covenant, and you must confirm how important you are in the eyes of God. 모든 교회는 올해부터 금토일 시대를 준비해라. All churches this year prepare for the three-day weekend age. 모든 파트들이 자세히 한번 보세요. That all departments must look at very carefully. 지금 초등학생들은 아무것도 모르는 것처럼 보이지만 아닙니다. 초등학생 속에 들어간 것은 평생 갑니다. It seems like elementary school students don't know anything, but what gets imprinted, it will last their lifetime. 자, 이 응답으로 여러분은 세계 보고만은 중요한 자리에 있는 축복을 누리게 됩니다. And you will enjoy the important answer for the sake of world evangelization. Where you are. 무엇 하느냐보다 더 중요한 게 어디에 있느냐. More important than what you do is where you are. 어떻게 하느냐보다 더 중요한 게 어디에 있냐. More than how you do something is where you are. 하나님이 아담 보고도 물었습니다. 어디에 있냐고. God asked Adam, where are you? 그렇죠. 가인 보고도 물었습니다. 어디에 있느냐고. Even to Cain, he asked, where are you? 도망간 요나에게도 똑같은 질문. 어디에 있느냐고. Even to Jonah, who ran away, God asked, "Where are you?" 그래서 여러분은 
하나님이 이루시는 가장 중요한 언약 속에 있는 겁니다. That you are in the most important covenant of God that he will. 오늘 메시지 듣는 분들이 금토일 시대 주역되기를 예수 그리스도 이름으로 축복합니다. Blessing name of the Lord those who hear this message will be the main figures for the leading weekend. 기도하겠습니다. 하나님 감사드립니다. God we give you thanks. 금토일 시대의 주역들이 되도록 하나님이 축복하옵소서. Bless us to be the main figures this three day weekend. 완전히 놓쳐버린 숨은 부분들 치유하고 서밋으로 만드는 하나님의 역사를 누리게 해 주옵소서. 예수 그리스도 이름으로 기도하옵나이다. 아멘. It is the urgent partisan of the scattered disciples. That is why God used the people of Romans chapter 16. Because they are the ones who knew of this urgency of the partisan. Because this person's couple, they knew of Rome. That's why God used them and they risked their life. And they were able to risk their lives because they knew of this. Many of us think that it's so hard to evangelize in the Muslim countries. And it is our understanding that is not able that we're not able to freely share the gospel in China. Why don't you change the direction of your prayer a little bit throughout this week? Outside of the mainland of China, there are many Chinese speaking people. And there are many Islamic or Muslim people outside of the Muslim uh, Muslim yeah, Islamic countries. And if we're not careful, we are only looking at these conditions inside of all these difficulties and constraints of these countries. That's why you need to keep in your mind that there are many multi-ethnic people throughout the world. That's why there's a need for us to form this network. Maybe there's a need for us to make this a, um, a, a spot for the counseling with the word. And maybe the TCK or the multi-ethnic group can do this, even though it's not visibly shown. Because many multi-ethnic people scattered throughout the world, there isn't any place for them to receive counseling. Because it, their lives in, is, is comprised of moving to different countries, being immigrants. If you are not able to target this immediately, then ultimately the three organizations will target this. Even though it seems like there is no immediate effect as a result of this, but in the end, we will see many things will arise as a result of this. Because within five to ten years, many things will change. That's why I think that even with regards to uh, broadcast communications, we need to strengthen it. Perhaps uh, meetings where we need to gather together may not be meaningful. So we are trying to establish RU in America so that it can be a landmark, but establishing schools everywhere is not going to be so meaningful. Because 
That's why all of you who are sharing the gospel through the scattered disciples, so it's going to be determined by how much you can prepare for this. When you look at the opposite side, when you look at the individuals of these people, so beyond our imagination, people are filled with spiritual problems. But beyond our imagination, there isn't any place where they can receive counseling for their spiritual problems. And beyond our imagination, there isn't anyone who can give counseling for their spiritual problems. However, once that door opens up, it will become a tremendous path. Especially uh, all of you who are trying to share the gospel to the scattered disciples, to the places where you cannot easily share the gospel, this is what you must keep in your mind. There are these places where there is no internet access. You are only limited to that limitation as of yet, but ultimately, internet will be connected. Because they're bound to have internet connection, because without the internet connection, they're bound to be isolated and crumble eventually. So it seems like there are many restrictions in China and other countries as to the telecommunication, but ultimately they will all open up in order to survive. So the key is that they will ultimately have no choice but to establish the stability of the telecommunication. However, they will open up. It's the same with North Korea as well. And they are currently having this policy of closed doors, but that day will come where they will have no choice but to open up. That's right. From the very beginning, Jesus said, go to all nations. To this day, people don't fully realize, but Jesus said this 2,000 years ago, go to all people to the ends of the earth. That is why you need to remember these three things. Those who are held in captivity. According to the Bible, in the Bible, and they have no choice but to live in foreign lands. And God wanted to evangelize in Rome, but there are many Romans who lived outside of Rome. You must keep this in your mind. In order to do China evangelization, rather than the people who are actually living in China, these Chinese people outside of China, such as in America, are more important. So for us, it will be a life-threatening risk for us to evangelize in all these Muslimic countries, but there are many people who are Islamic outside of Islamic countries. So there is a remnant who is currently listening to the message who married a Muslim. And because they are living outside of the Islamic countries, there is no oppression or no persecution. And they can live their walk of faith so freely. You can freely live your walk of faith. Such a great chance. That's why there's a need for you to open up your eyes and realistically target this. And not only those who are taken as captives, not only those who are scattered, but those who are oppressed under these uh, powerful nations. And with regards to all this, you need to confirm the network. Joseph was taken as a captive, but he shined the light to all these places that was filled with darkness. All the doors had no two choice but to open up. This is something that we know very well. One individual, Moses, he held to this covenant and God opened up a great door. And 
And the same work took place in Babylon. Why were they placed in a different country? That will become a tremendous answer for us. Why was Israel colonized under Rome? It's an answer to that. When Jesus, uh, when the angel said, "It's not for you to know," because there's an answer. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, which means that for us not to know the reason why that will become our answer. Even though it seems like legally that we're prohibited from sharing the gospel, that itself will become the answer. And is this a rifle for China to have this policy to prevent all the religions to take place in their country? So because of that itself as an answer, it will become a tremendous opportunity for us. So when I was a student, I saw that at Busan Harbor, there are these ships. And the reason why Busan is important is that there are not many harbors where big ships can embark and dock. And we even see that midway, the American um, aircraft carriers can ship, uh, then they can dock there, because other harbors are too tiny. And we have maritime missions uh, for that reason. So these people, they get on board on this, these ships and they share the gospel. One day, there was a resolution that no uh, religion can enter into these ships to share their religion. I guess something did happen. Maybe that was for a temporary measure, but that did happen. So our team got uh, into a great confusion as to what we are supposed to do. But I told him that is actually a better chance because it means that other organizations cannot enter into the ship. It's not only us. It means that other religions cannot enter in. What a great will of God behind this, which means that we need to now find a way to enter in. It's so simple. It is so simple. Which means that you, you can easily come to that answer. So you can just come in contact with the captain, or you just can come into contact with the crew, and have them to invite you in. For you to do what? To just have a meal, to have a party. This is something that you can do just so freely. It is actually an opportunity for all these Chinese and also other Islamic countries to have closed doors, because we can then find a disciple. So many people in these countries such as China, they are out as immigrants. They are very smart people. And they are in other countries for their business. Or they are in other countries as international students. These people are more important. That's why there's a need for you to change your thought and expand your thinking. Whether it's a Chinese country or all these powerful countries, there are many people who are oppressed by living inside of these countries where they are preventing the gospel. That is why I'm mentioning this. And the reason why I'm mentioning there needs to be a network, there needs to be a corner for sharing the word, a counseling of the word. And what's surprising is that there are even more of these disciples, and they're all hidden. What does it mean that there are many people who are oppressed locally? 
자체 자국민들도 있단 말이에요. It means that those residents, those natives who are inside of those countries. 누가 제보 얘기했어요? Somebody said this to me. 목사님 북한 그렇게 보면 안 됩니다. 북한 안에 진짜 젊은 사람들이 있대요. Pastor, you should not overlook North Korea because there are so many good believers inside of North Korea. 중국에도 진짜 젊은 사람이 있다는 거예요. And inside of China, there are many good believers. 알 수가 없는 거죠. That's why it's not for us to fully comprehend. 이렇게 해서 우리 지금 흩어진 제자들은 큰 문을 한번 열어봐라. That's why scattered disciples really open up a great door. 결론은 뭡니까? What is the conclusion? 이렇든 저렇든 예수님이 말씀하신 대로. Irregardless of all this, what Jesus said is this. We need to find a disciple. 진짜 제자는 흔들리지 않아요. A true disciple will not be shaken. 진짜 예비 됐기 때문에 간단한 말은 알아들어요. True disciples are prepared. That's why, with a simple statement, they will understand. 진짜 제자는 복음만 전해주는데 알아들어요. And just by sharing the gospel, they will understand. 진짜 제자는 도움 안 줘도 합니다. True disciples will evangelize even though you don't give any help. 진짜 제자는 말씀 알아듣습니다. And true disciples understand the word. 진짜 제자는 오래된 신자보다 더잘 알아들어요. And true disciples they understand better than all these long-time believers. 그 이디오피아 내시가 단판에 알아들어요. Just like the Ethiopian eunuch, immediately he understood that's going to what's going to happen. 여러분들 사역이 명심해야 될 것은 작게 보이지만 큽니다. You need to understand regarding your ministry, even though it seems very minuscule, it will be great. You need to change your thinking. 여러분 사역이 참 눈에 안 보이는 것은 보이는데 이게 큰 겁니다. Even though your ministry seems invisible, but it's going to be a great ministry. 성경 여러분 자세히 보세요. Look at the Bible carefully. 기도하겠습니다. Let us pray. 하나님 감사드립니다. God, we thank you. 어떠진 제자들에게. 가장 중요한 사명을 주시며 하나님이 함께 하시는 비밀을 누리게 해 주옵소서. Would you allow your important scattered disciples to enjoy your mission and your great mystery that you desire to give to them? 전 세계 허감에 빠진 그들에게 빛을 비추는 참된 복음의 능력이 증거되게 하옵소서. May the power of the true gospel that shines a light to all those who are inside of darkness be testified. 예수 그리스도 이름으로 기도하옵나이다. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.